So I'm going to step through the, the EU Web Accessibility Directive, give you a high level view of what it is and how it differs from current legislation that we have in Ireland around web accessibility. Then I'm going to talk about the monitoring and reporting component of it, which is why you've received a notice of monitoring uh, and why you've received results about a simplified review that's been conducted on your website, um, what NDA's role is. Um, and then I'm going to hand you over to Michael, who's going to talk to us about getting the most out of your simplified review review data. OK, so <clears throat> I'm sure many of you have already been at a presentation on the Web Accessibility Directive. Um, but if you haven't, it's a directive from the EU on the accessibility of websites and mobile applications of public sector websites. It was transposed into Irish law uh, last September, two years, um, and NDA is assigned a particular role under the directive. We're the national monitoring body. There's now a national monitoring body for this directive in all EU member states. Um, and we're here really to focus on one component of the directive today, which is around monitoring compliance against the standard under the directive. Um, now, the standard is actually a European standard, but it's equivalent to the better known standard called the Web Content Accessibility Guidelines 2.1. Um, and public bodies must ensure that websites and mobile apps are accessible to, to persons with disabilities. By one, ensuring websites and mobile apps comply with this European standard, which is roughly equivalent to conformance rating AA with the Web Content Accessibility Guidelines. We must also pro provide and maintain a detailed accessibility statement, and there's a template on, the, on our website um, in that regard, and you'll get guidance on the Web Accessibility Monitoring Platform that you have logged into um, and now have an account on um, for that. Um, we must also provide clear access to a complaints and redress mechanism. Now, this is the question I get asked most, so let me preempt this question straight away. What happens if we don't comply? Well, if you don't comply with the accessibility standard and the requirements of the directive, then you're in contravention of a, new, a, a European Union directive, and you're also um, uh, and 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 that has been transposed into into Irish legislation. In practical terms. NDA is a monitoring body. We're not an enforcement body, so we're not going to come and try and cut your budget or, or um, do something nasty like that. The, um, the enforcement mechanism actually under the directive is the current enforcement mechanism that's there on the, under the Disability Act, which enables a person under statute to make a complaint to a body around the accessibility of their services. And if that complaint is not satisfactorily dealt with, they can take a case to the Ombudsman's office, okay? And what's of particular interest to us around web accessibility is the web accessibility statement, and there's a template for this defined by the European Commission, has to include information on how someone can make a complaint to the organization vis-a-vis -vis the accessibility of its website or mobile app. Um, and a fourth component of the European Web Accessibility Directive is the um, the requirement to build capacity and awareness of web accessibility. So we all need to upskill in this area and make sure we understand um, what web accessibility is, how to monitor it, and how to how to maintain it. As I said, NDA is the monitoring body for this, and we are required to monitor around two hundred and fifty public sector websites and mobile apps every year. So it's quite a it's quite an undertaking. Um, I mean, the, the, so, sometimes it's a surprising thing for people to learn that actually we've had requirements in legislation around web accessibility since 2005 and the Disability Act. But what's really different around the, um, uh, the EU Web Accessibility Directive is that there is this direct monitoring function that's assigned to NDA where we directly monitor your website and your mobile app. Um, whichever whichever one we, we, we choose to do. <clears throat> and then we, we send you the results and we also publish uh, a report that goes to the European Commission. We published the first report for this in December of last year. And our second report is about to go to my board um, in the NDA on Thursday and will be submitted to the European Commission um, by the end of the year. <clears throat> 